These porcelains speak to Tsushi's life story. This is a woman's story. The story of a consort, a mother, and ultimately, of an empress. This September, Sotheby's is proud to present the Barbara Jean Levy collection of porcelains commissioned specifically for the Dowager Empress Tsushi. The largest private collection ever to be amassed of its kind, it comprises a total of 70 porcelains made for the Empress Dowager. The woman who is best known as Dowager Empress Tsushi ruled the Qing Empire for the best part of 50 years during the most turbulent period of modern Chinese history. Tsushi was not only amongst the longest reigning rulers, but one of the very few female rulers. Her story really starts in 1852, when as a young woman she entered the Forbidden City as a sixth-ranked consort of the Xianfeng Emperor. She rose to prominence after bearing the emperor his only surviving male heir and was bestowed the title Empress Dowager Cixi once her son, the Tongzhi Emperor, ascended the throne. On his deathbed, the Shenfeng Emperor had appointed a group of regents to rule on behalf of his young child. But the regents were unpopular, and Cixi, together with the Empress Ci An and the late emperor's younger brother, Prince Gong, quickly mounted a successful coup to oust the regents and instead position them the two dowager empresses as co-regents. The two women ruled China together on behalf of the infant emperor. As Qing women were sequestered from public view, they held their audiences from behind a yellow silk screen. And before long, Cixi emerged as the more powerful figure. Cixi was an active patron of the arts, who harnessed court art production to visualize her power, her authority, and critically, her legitimacy. Not since the 18th century Qianlong Emperor had China had a ruler who had pushed the political functionality of art to its full capacity. In anticipation of Tongzhi Emperor's wedding that took place in the fall of 1872, Cixi commissioned a large quantity of porcelains to celebrate the occasion. The porcelains commissioned for the Tongzhi Emperor's imperial wedding are replete with symbols of marital bliss and good fortune. You see double happiness symbols and the coupling of the phoenix and the dragon, emblematic of the emperor and his empress. The next commission was made in 1874. By this point, the Tongzhi emperor was of age. He was able to rule independently. The porcelains marked Sishi's contentment with her new post-retirement life outside of the court. Now, commissioning porcelain was a privilege reserved for the emperor, and Sushi's commissioning of these Daya Jai wares, as they came to be known, was an explicit transgression of Qing convention. These wares bear four-character Yong Qing Changchun mark, and larger wares also bear a horizontal Daya Jai mark and an oval Tian Di Yi Jia Chun mark. These cheerful, bright wares are decorated with auspicious motifs, radiating joy and happiness. Sushi's contentment was, however, short-lived. The Tongzhi Emperor died suddenly, most likely of smallpox, aged 19, without leaving a male heir. Sushi, faced with the loss of her son, appointed her nephew, the Guangxi Emperor, as the succeeding emperor and resumed her regency. Later wares from this period were much more overtly political. The predominant color of this wear is yellow, a color reserved for the emperor alone, demonstrating Cixi's political power at the court. The last group of special commissions by Cixi in the Levy collection, and the most ambitious of them all, are the porcelains bearing a Chushou Gongzhi seal mark, intended to decorate the Chushou Gong Palace where Cixi dwelled. The design of a ferocious five-clawed dragon in green enamel reserved on a blue ground of flaming pearls and cloud wisps was directly taken from Kangxi period porcelains. This was no coincidence. Cixi was deliberately taking earlier 18th century designs associated with the great emperors of that era, doubling, tripling them in size, sending a powerful message about her reign and where she ranked amongst those great emperors. Cixi was forced to rule behind the silk curtain, but the Levy collection pulls back the silk curtain and unveils a clear insight into Tsushi's vision. 